In this video, I'm going to review the price action for the regular trading hour session for the trading day of August 24th, 2023. It is a Thursday. Uh, as you can see on the top left and on the right side of your screen, I'm on the Micro uh, ES, which is the product uh, that I trade. I also trade another product, the Micro Russell, because it is cheaper. Um, guys, there's not really that much for me to review. Uh, we opened up the session here at 0930 at the New York Stock Exchange Open, and we traded higher in what's referred to as an ICT Judas swing, uh, which basically is a fake move, so to speak, or it's a move that is counter to the intended direction for the day, which you can see uh, anybody who had bought this opening candle, uh, you were royally screwed. Um, so you need to be very careful with whatever direction, whatever direction that you see uh, the initial market move, so let's say like the first 30 minutes of trading, most of the time, okay, now guys, I'm not saying this happens all the time, most of the time, the market is going to end up moving in the opposite direction to whatever the open is. So it runs against the opening liquidity. So all of your banks and your institutions, they, they put in a lot of their orders at the very start of the trading day, like uh, market open orders, and then the market usually will run against that, meaning running, running in the opposite direction which is what we saw today. So we had an ICT Judas swing here at the start of the day. We traded down during the entire uh, AM session. So you can see my crosshair is over noon. We had a little bit of a, of a rally uh, during the lunch session. And then at, at 13.30 when the New York PM session opened, we, we continued the down move. Uh, looking at our daily chart, Thursday's candle was just a straight black candle. Um, and we it was referred to, this is referred to as an outside down day meaning that it traded higher than the previous day's high and lower than the previous day's low so it's referred to as an outside day and that's what we had today on Thursday um, you know looking looking uh, ahead for Friday's price action I would say probably we get a green candle probably like a small green candle although guys I'm not gonna lie the market could be very incentivized to go and take out uh, last Friday's low, so we could see a run on uh, 4,350 evens on Friday. Um, I don't believe that the sell-off in a broader sense is over. I do see the market continuing to trade lower over the next few weeks. Um, we could see some choppy co consolidation as well. Guys, I'm not going to lie, I see no reason for the market to make a serious rally at this time. I either see us chopping or going down. That's my current take on the market. Um, Looking at the 15 minute chart on the regular trading hours, we can see we had a small opening range gap here where my cursor is and we just traded right through it. We plundered this sell side liquidity where my cursor is and we're drawing even lower down to the next sell side liquidity. So we're hitting sell side targets now. Um, and so I would just in general favor shorts over longs, although obviously there's opportunities in both directions, there always are. Um, looking, let's see, after the market closed, you got a little bit of a rally in the electronic trading hours. I imagine we're probably just going to end up selling off again. Uh, you know, for whatever reason, the market is selling off, and you guys, you got to follow what the market is doing. Um, looking at our weekly chart, we can see that we're forming a spinning top candle right now. It's probably going to end up being a black candle, or maybe we get a little bit of a relief rally on Friday. So, okay guys, not much to say other than be very careful with these Judas swings. So whatever you see the first 30 minutes of trading doing, remember most of the time the market's gonna run against that liquidity, not run in the same direction. Not always, but, but a lot of the time. So be very careful with your first 30 minutes of trading. Okay guys, this has been a market review for the price action on the MES on Thursday, August 24th.